Welcome back, everybody, to Color Break, your third favorite comic book podcast. As always, I am your co-host, Cody, and I collect comics. With me, as always, my good friend, Comic Book Stash. I'm looking over there. That's where we're going to put you. Hi, my name is Christian, and I'm an immigrant. I don't know, you said you collect... You could like comics. I thought we were saying like random fun facts. All right, okay, I got it. Now it's Ivan's turn. Uh, I'll just get a self introduction. All right, but hi, uh, it's Heroes Gift again for what this is like the fourth or fifth time. Yeah, this is Movie Boys number four. What's number your fun four. fact about yourself? Fun fact about myself: I'm ambidextrous with certain things. Uh, yes, oh. he, can breathe. he can breathe underwater, you guys. You heard it here first. I, is that what that means? <laughs> <laughs> um, Christian, I've been lied what, to. <laughs> what, uh, what issue number is this, by the way? I didn't say it at the top. No, you did not. It, it, okay, I'll, I'll excuse you on this because like, we had that in-person podcast that kind of like... We, we yeah. filmed so many podcasts that one week, so I cannot yeah. blame you. And I didn't know the release order either, so I don't know. Uh, this is number 25. Hey, guys, we made it. 25. They, they say that if a podcast makes it to number 25, it's forever. Really? Or at least I've heard that. Two five. And we're here. Two five. Um, all right, boys. It's to celebrate 2-5, we got the drinks. You guys know how it is. We got Ivan yeah. on. Movie boys. We to celebrate, we um, also man, rented a drunk. car. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, for cheaper the North we're 20, we're, we did not have to pay extra insurance no guys we're 25 yes sir um, but listen what uh disclaimers okay we're gonna be talking about <laughs> movies and stuff um i just want to say that uh we understand the current climate around uh content and uh talking about this kind of things um but as the, at the time of recording right it's in this weird spot where I really feel like we're getting two different messages. Um, so we just said, you know what, like for the influencers to not talk about stuff or talk about stuff, we're just going to meet them right in the middle. This is the last movie boys for a really long time until the strikes all over. Um, I feel like that's a fair way to do it. I don't know. Christian, yeah, I mean, wanna... it, go, it goes without saying that um, we support uh, both uh, SAG after and the double G, uh, GA. We, um, we mm-hmm. believe that, uh, filmmakers that serve uh, fair wages it's it's stupid to um have a job where you basically create content that makes billions of dollars and get no money for it yeah, basically fucking these, nothing bro these yeah. people cannot afford houses cannot afford clothing or food and uh, they have families and uh we support them wholeheartedly yeah, as, someone who, to like... as someone who makes movies over here uh and wants to do it for a living it's very important to understand that you know, I've heard a lot of people say, and, and no offense to, to anyone, but I've heard a lot of people say, how does this affect me? Um, it does affect you. Uh, because the writers make the content you watch. The actors mm-hmm. make the content you watch. And it's mm-hmm. easy to say, oh, well, you know, like an actor like Brad Pitt doesn't need, like, you're you're thinking of the 5%. 95% of the SAG-AFTRA actors are not rich. They're yeah. not billionaires. They're background actors. There are, And now companies are trying to use their faces with ai and steal their per- their fate no that's not right you know and same with writers so fucking stupid, These, dude. all the jokes you like all the all the storylines the big twists you like that's all that's all actors that's all writers mm. they've made you cry they've made you laugh and now you had a you have to help them make a living so exactly. uh support uh the wga and sag after we're gonna put links in the bio for donations please donate they do need it and uh yeah this is the last movie boys for a while you yeah, know, we so, gotta take care of the yeah. people that make the content that we enjoy. You know what I mean? Because it's terrible that like people are known by thousands, but gotta clock in to McDonald's to you know pay rent. Like it's they deserve the wages for what we get to enjoy every day. And then, like the fact that it is affected by streaming, which we all kind of you know put our dimes into. It's like it's not fair. They deserve to get paid equally. And yeah. not only, second disclaimer: <laughs> okay. we're gonna be talking about the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah first right, of all so... the movie boys say fuck ezra miller <laughs> oh yeah okay yeah yeah i i, I want to say something about ezra miller they um we we do not agree with the things they did we do hope they get uh the mental health uh help they need this is a serious topic and mm-hmm. a million people go through this every day 
Uh, so we do not stand by the things they did. We do hope they find the proper treatment to get better. Yes. Was that yeah, professional it, enough? That was very yeah, professional. Dude, I think those are great deals. disclaimers. Um, I got to be honest, be, doing this kind of stuff on the internet right now is like walking on landmines, all right? Fair. Um, so it's not a fair country, can't you? So, so we're just trying to, you know, cover all of our, make sure everything's kosher and all that stuff. We still want to talk about this. Like we, we enjoy making movie boys and we enjoy, you know, talking about this with our, um, us and the audience as well. But, but yeah, it's definitely a, a weird spot to find ourselves in right now. So I hope you guys understand this would be the last movie boys for a good little bit. Um, I think this strike is probably going to go for a pretty long time. Hey, um, it seems like listen. both sides are digging in their heels. Um, I'm so yeah, committed. Bro, I'm so committed to this. I'm so committed to this. You guys know how long I've been waiting for Barbie to come out. I will not say a single thing about Barbie. I will not say a single thing about Oppenheimer. Oh, I'm yeah. Watch. This. The one thing I will say about these movies is when I do like my, oh, these are the movies I watched this month, I'll say it was good. That's it. That's the only <laughs> the only thing you'll hear about these movies. Dude, that's Christian, fair. I was that's a good point, dude. I was gonna say, I mean, for, for me and you, it's a little easier to um to avoid talking about, you know, streaming shows and movies and stuff like that, because that, that isn't our, our bread and butter. We do that from time to time. We do it on movie boys, obviously. Um so so we'll be all set. Like, don't worry, me and Christian, we still be doing uh color break comic book podcast. We'll be all set doing that. Um and then and then yeah, we'll just we'll just wait it out however long it takes. Um, something unnerving that came out, like the studio heads were saying, like, "Oh, we're gonna wait it out until they, like, until they run out of money." Oh yeah, that shit was wild. Out, like they get kicked, you know, uh, can't pay their mortgages and stuff. I mean, that's just mask off, just like, evil what? villain the... stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, so, like how how high of a level of a dickhead do you got to be to say that shit with your chest? Like. It's crazy. It's like how sentence. full of yourself do you have to be like bro I... <sighs> so yeah i mean these big these big cats up top they're going down sounds like uh the strike's gonna go for a really long time until they get their fair share of everything so um i don't know listen we all want content we all want it quick but do we stop to think you know about the people that make it exactly i mean i'm not gonna yeah. lie every time i go to like and and I have my brother has worked in fast food. Like I know it. Every time I go, I think like, man, I can I can see that look. You know, when they give me that look as I order like a burger, and they look at me like, please. Um, and that's why I don't go to Burger King anymore. Well, you probably have a weird order. You probably say like, I don't know, nothing on it except for the patty and like some ketchup or something like that. Nah, dude. First of all, no ketchup. What? I'm, not, I'm an adult. Um, no ketchup. <laughs> no, I get. Uh, I'm. If, it depends. And I, I don't know what we're talking about, fast food orders, but I'll tell you my order. Uh, cheese, meat, of course, buns. You cannot forget the buns. Never forget the buns. Sometimes um, people do lettuce, though. Nah, yeah, I'm not a protein. What's it called? Like protein style? Whatever the hell. Yeah. Nah. I don't. I'm a, oh, and mayo. People hate on mayo. I don't hate on mayo. I can, I can uh, cool. I'm cool with mayo. I don't mind uh, mayo. And, and I don't what mind was I was going to say, one time I did say, like, I went to uh, a fast food restaurant. I'm not going to say which one. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to keep it to myself. I went and I said, hey, can I get, a, you know, a, a plain hamburger? And they were like, plain? And I was like, yeah, like, you know, like, no sauce. I just like the meat and the cheese, you know, like, and they gave me just meat and cheese, like, straight up. Oh, I think you said, I think you already told that story on the podcast, maybe. Um, I'll, it still pisses me off. Whatever. Uh, point Please. is, uh, if if I get a, and I, this will be the end of the burger talk. Um, if I go to like a Smash Burger place, like mm. uh, Shake Shack, everything burger. on it, everything, tomatoes, yeah. lettuce, everything, except for pickles. Shake I don't like is... pickles. If you like you pickles, listen. If you like pickles, that's okay. But I just don't like. It. <laughs> you like look into the camera. But yeah, like, yeah, fuck pickles, all right? I'm with you, um, honestly. I don't like pickles at all, bro. Dang, I didn't okay. know I was the only pickle guy in the pot. Maybe Cody I'll pretend get... to not like pickles. Cody just so buys the... It's too late Cody... now, we know. Damn. Cody buys full jars because <laughs> it keeps him under his bed. Dang, dude. It's not my Late secret. night snack. <laughs> Do you guys think we should pickles. talk about <laughs> something <laughs> um, something comic book related, Christian, maybe? Just a little no, bit? I, I, I like the pickle talk, man. Actually, you know what? Let's do uh, before we jump into um, some of the what do you mean by that? stupid shows we're going to talk about, some of the dumb movies we're going to talk about. 
Let's do a little bit of housekeeping, Christian. But I cannot have you going on for 10 plus minutes about the merch. I need you to give me one piece of merch and why you like it or whatever. But just one. I saw the merch drop. Okay, I'm going to say this. Too. I'm going to mention multiple like items, but I'm only okay. going to talk about one. That's so fair. yeah, we have issue number two of the t-shirt. I've talked so much about it that I don't care about it. Yeah, like, uh, people are going to go tired of it. I have a sweater with Barry on it. It's beautiful, mm-hmm. whatever. Um, I spent a long time trying to like find an artist to do like l- very beautiful calligraphy and mm. uh, write color break really beautifully so I can embroider it in a black sweater. And then the day before the merch drop, I was sitting at work and I was like, oh, I never got that artist. I forgot. God fucking that. So I just uh, went in, grabbed a pen, just wrote down color break and my horrible handwriting. And it's embroidered on a sweater. So if you want my handwriting, uh, get this sweater. I'm going to put it right on top of Cody's face because he does not deserve the screen time. And uh, yeah. Mike was asking me. Boom. Go. Go it's buy it. Honestly, I, I, will, I will say this. Do you, Cody, do you know that for the longest time I've been Mike was asking you? I mean, you can Mike. I'm, I'm Mike was asking myself my own Mike. No, right no, no, no. Um, every time, I sometimes I feel bad and I switch it up, but every time I make the thumbnail of the video, I okay. put your face right where the time clock is. So if you open <laughs> There YouTube, you go, that way. Yeah. <laughs> if you open YouTube on your phone, yes, the, the time of the video... Face. It's right. not on it. If you open it on a TV, it's great. But if it's on your phone, most of the time you're you're covered. That's Are you right. saying all the That's mobile right. color break fans have only seen half of Cody's face? No, I it. will say this. At some point, I started feeling bad and I switched. I, I flipped those. <laughs> wow, dude, you're such a saint. Um, I'll say so why funny. one thing about the merch because we <laughs> are so 14 proud. minutes in. <laughs> the one merch thing that I want to talk about. That was the most. It's like... <laughs> We've got Jerry on a hat jerry is my dog i adopted him and we put him on a hat it's a nice dad hat it's corduroy um i actually have never seen it in person um so if you're out there you might be able to order it faster than i can get it myself so that'd be kind of funny but definitely pick up jerry put him on your head that's it for housekeeping um (laughs) ivan it's your turn to say your favorite item of the merch (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. honestly yeah i've looked through it and i like it honestly i like the the scribble that you said you came up last minute i fuck with it honestly i might ask for me copping uh, i do enjoy you know the tote bag you know what i'm saying y'all should get nice. those you know fuck fuck all plastic bags save the planet but i say my favorite yeah, like the one i've been looking at the most is the volume two like the issue two shirt like i really fuck with the issue two shirt um, yeah dude i may or may not have had some contribution to like the placement of where the front of the shirt is by just saying dude ivan's minutes. been coming in clutch with a lot of great suggestions man Honestly, like, Christian, we should probably cut them in. I don't know what, like two percent, three percent. You, do, Cody, I will say this just so everyone, like, I want to clear the air with something. People might be thinking we're like billionaires over here because of the merch. I hope you know that, like, first of all, like, we don't make a lot, we don't make a lot of money from it. But not only that, not only do we not make a lot of money from it, we split it. <laughs> yeah and then it so, also costs like a lot to host like the website and all that stuff without getting too deep into it um i don't think we're in the negative <laughs> but it's not that it's not as positive as you think it'd be um yeah no uh, yeah. i think we make like five bucks from a t-shirt at yeah, the I mean, most yeah Look, i don't need a cut i'm glad to help you know what i'm saying like, yeah the yes you t-shirt yeah. fine. Hey, we, cody we put him on the pod dude that's enough <laughs> i know dude i know it gets all the exposure. All right, boys, uh, <laughs> let's get into it. First topic: How about that Flash movie? <laughs> mm. Ivan, you just saw it this past weekend, right? I saw it myself, so technically. <laughs> Ivan, okay, oh, dude, okay. So he saw it himself. Give me your, give me your overall thoughts. Maybe spoiler free, or you can spoil. It. I don't give a can shit. I, can I say like something? I said, be- Warner Bros. is not our friend. You can spoil this shit. I don't can care. I say something before he starts talking about it? <laughs> okay, okay. He came into work, right? I'm. I mean, he he was already there before me, but he comes into work like, up to my desk, and he's like, "Dude, I was like, there were only like four people with me. Like, there was not- <laughs> I hope I hope you guys know when me and Cody watched it three days after release, it was only us." <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds like in all the theaters across the country, there's never more than like 10 people in the theaters, so that just tells yeah. you how. I will say, 
Uh, congratulations to Flash Movie for passing Marley and me in the worldwide box office. You guys <laughs> oh, did it. Bro. You passed an Owen Wilson movie. Good job. Ex- exactly. <laughs> exactly, Cody. Rough. Rough, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate you. I hate you so much. Get the fuck out of here. But, uh, so yeah, dude. I, to... I don't know. Just lay it on me, dude. Let me give me those initial uh, thoughts. Or... I mean, look. I had I have the almost like kind of identical like this one sentence review. Fun watch. Mid movie, mid bad to mid movie. Look, um, first of all, I went in there and I was by myself for like maybe a good thirty to forty five minutes. Like I was just literally theater empty. And I was just. <laughs> And I was just talking shit about everything that was going on. I was like, what the fuck is this? That does that? And I was just having like a whole little commentary section. And like, then people came in and it was just a couple and they sat like so far away. So they and were they late? Were, yeah, they were late. They really didn't go fuck. And when they came in, the shit killed me. They're like, oh, damn. <laughs> I think I, I will say that I'm not going to uh, give details out on the pod, but I think you ruined their evening. Me, yeah, yeah probably, you might have actually. They're probably they expecting probably. an empty theater. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe that damn wasn't like, wow, there's no one here except for that guy. Like, maybe it was that guy up there. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably looking at me the whole time, like, when the fuck is he gonna get bored and leave? So I was still <laughs> talking shit throughout the whole movie. <laughs> we we but had I someone behind say, us that was laughing really loudly. Oh, uh, good for him or her. They them cover all bases baby <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> but uh yeah and then but if i had to say anything positive about the movie i will say the only thing i found like pretty cool was just like the um time travel aspect of it like the sand thing like it's low orb that was cool i think that was a cool concept for time travel in a sense because what we're used to at least with the goaded grant gustin series is like just the vortex you know what i'm saying so mm. seeing that it's like that's i'll give it that it's like it's cool um the cameos were very unnecessary, especially at the end. I don't know why the fuck those even happened. I, looked like, I feel like I was playing a PS2 game, like like uh, DC Online or some shit. Uh, <laughs> and um, also the Batman cameos were cool. I liked seeing, you know, my guy back in the saddle. But the Ben Affleck one was very unnecessary. And then the one at the end, what is it, George Clooney? I was like, what was the point of that? I, like, I get it's like to show that he still messed with something, so it it's still gonna mess something in his timeline up. But it's like mm, that's too small of a change to really put into the movie to make us go. <gasps> like, you're already resetting the universe. Just make it Ben Affleck. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, spoilers. <laughs> None of this fucking movie matters. <laughs> just in <laughs> case, just in case anyone's watching, spoiler alert. Uh, I'm gonna jump fact, in. Christian, I'm oh, going to jump gonna... in next, dude, with my thoughts, just to follow it up with Ivan. Wait, I feel okay. like we... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I mean... So, the only thing I'm going to say, right? <laughs> I, I agree with everything Ivan said. Uh, definitely a fun movie, but not, like, a good movie by any means, right? But the funny part is, dude, if you're, if you're tiering this in, like, the other DC movies, this might be, like, near the top, which is, like, so insane to me to say. Which is also, like, like, I hope you know, like, and not to, like, I I agree with you, Cody. I don't know if it's a compliment. That's what I'm saying. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. I don't know if that's a compliment to the movie or kind of, like, just a diss to the entire DC movies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all think this movie is the best out of the DC Not the best. Not Not the the best. best. Not the best. Y'all like, tier list on the top. That made me go, wait, hold on, wait a minute. I I got you. We say, like, top, like, DCEU. We're not talking about... You know, Dark Knight Rises or Dark Knight. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about literally like the the whole other This, this is probably like, shit. I don't know, just gut check. I, probably I, like don't, top I don't five. think this is his best one. I'd say if we have to give like at least something some credit, I give I give the first Wonder Woman some credit. More mm. like I think Aquaman. For, that no, Aquaman. I, I hate Aquaman. Aquaman was not that bad. He was not that it bad. Fucking it was better sucks. than Flash. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Aquaman is like, Aquaman is if they try to make Game of Look, Thrones. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree Atlantis with you. Aquaman together. was buns. Aquaman was buns, but Atlantis was beautiful, and that swimming was crisp. Okay, I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna give you my top three right now, and I'm, I'm not including the Sex Snyder cut of the Justice League because it's technically not in, in it, the DCU. Like, um, oh, gotcha. Wonder yeah. Woman, Man of Steel, The Flash. 
Say whatever you want. That's my top three. I agree Man with the st- two. I agree with the two. The third one, get the fuck out of there. Get the- <laughs> so like, I guess, I guess the point I was getting to was like, I don't know, just as as an audience member, right? You already know that James Gunn's like gonna be doing his thing soon, right? So this mm. movie just felt so inconsequential, and maybe that's how I was able to have like a tiny bit more fun, maybe. Like, but the because is, nothing really mattered, that's why I was able to just completely, you know, forget about it and just watch the movie. I didn't have to think about all the other stuff. So I feel like I had more fun. But then, you know, since I've seen the movie over these last couple of weeks going cold, it's it's definitely slipping down there. You know what I mean? But yeah. I think coming out of the theater, I was like, that actually wasn't like the worst because I was expecting it to be absolute dog shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> So I think like, oh, it's like a it's like a five out of ten or something, or like a six out of yeah. ten. I'm like, whoa, that's six, you know. So I don't know. That's just my my initial thoughts coming out of the theater was slightly surprised that it wasn't dog shit. I guess. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna jump in. Yeah, dude. If go you want to know my thoughts, I, I've, I I the best way I can describe this movie is this. It's a movie. <laughs> Mm. it's a movie it's it's a movie uh you know um and i i do take offense it's my favorite superhero man but it was so weird watching an, a halo cutscene of a movie uh based on my favorite character like th- this was like uh like ps2 cinematics like you know in between yeah. missions the one you cannot skip that's that's what it fucking felt like i love the flash and like say whatever you want about grant gustin he's the best flash i've seen Highly I agree. don't care. Highly I mean, yeah, yeah, you can say whatever you want about the CW scripts, but like that's not Grant Gustin's fault. He's it's just true. doing yeah, his yeah. job, I, man. I, I and he's a good Flash. Like... The Flash yeah. is the heart of the Justice League. And and as much as Ezra Miller, you know, they're charismatic in the movie, I never had that sense of like, you know, like the heart of the maybe like the goofball of the Justice League. Yeah, definitely. But not the heart of the Justice League. Mm. So get Grant Gustin back in the suit. I don't care if you have to force him. Nah, I think I always feel like like it's like a regrettable moment because it was like they would not have to have like season one or like during like season one they casted Ezra. Like imagine if they had casted fucking Grant instead. Like what we could have had, bro. Like what we could have. It's true. Oh yeah, and uh, I will say, um, I know. Yeah, Cody, I missed two scenes. Like I didn't miss a lot. First of all, Cody was talking (laughs) shit over here. With a couple, Um, missed way more than you did anyway. It's fine. That's true. Um, and I miss things that I've read about in the comic. Like, it wasn't that bad. I don't know. Uh, so, I don't know. The thing is, the one thing you did miss, Christian, was how he got his powers back. And I thought that was such a crazy part to miss. I mean, obviously, you couldn't do anything. You're too busy spitting in your shirt. But, you know, I really thought that. I'm uh, sorry I was sick. Okay, I'll say this. I can't, I, uh, this is my defense. Yes, I did, I did miss a pretty cool scene in the movie. Don't get me wrong. But, like, they do it in the Flashpoint comics. They do it in the Flash... Uh, the Flashpoint animated movie, and I rewatched the scene later. It was okay. I mean, that's the same right. story yeah, I've seen right, a million right. times. Yeah, no, um, it's totally. You know, it, it totally and I matter. will say, uh, compliments to this movie. We got, um, you know, we got we got actors returning. We got some cool things happening. So I have to give props to my favorite actor in the movie, Sasha Kaye. Supergirl. I liked it. I feel like the one thing I was also like, I was just laughing at was like how many like stare off scenes she got like i was like can y'all just let her cook like why y'all make her pose so much just let her cook like <laughs> like she was act. she was she was great i love i love that's her what i'm saying when they very... let her do her thing when they did the um like when she was asking what happened to cal i was like okay let her cook and then the yeah, rest she was like... she was great i loved her she... in it i thought she was great christian uh i'm not going to disagree with you at all i wish she was in the movie more Oh, 100%. You know I mean? Which is definitely a compliment to her performance. And I think I'm with a lot of people where they say they would like her to be the DCU Supergirl. I could yeah. see it, man. I mean, I don't see, I don't, I don't know if that fits in with, um, you know, James Gunn's vision. Gonna, yeah. But he long seems long like long. he's, you know, keeping some things and not others. Like he's, uh, uh, Jaime Reyes for, in the new, the upcoming Blue Beetle is going to be in the DCU or something like that. So it's kind of weird the way they're doing it, but. I, I, rem- it was, it was I really... remembered my main comment about this movie. Okay. I have no fucking problem with with race swapping a character. 
I have no problem. Okay. I've seen it done with Starfire. No problem there. Do whatever you want. I mean, I, Starfire is it really race swapping? She's an alien. Well, I guess. I, I don't care <laughs> what you do. Well, that's what, how I read it online. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize <laughs> to the to the Teen Titans community. Um, um, you you grab the Flash, my favorite superhero, and you're like, hey, just so you know, man, he's Latino now. We're giving that to you. You know, here's some crumbs. Uh, we also casted a, a an actor with a German, Swedish, English. This, this, a white man. The, yeah, that man. They, he, they're a white man. Ezra Miller is not Latino. If you're going to tell me, hey, by the way, we made him Latino. Like, you know, here you go, man. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have something. We're giving you Cinco de Mayo, Taco Bell, and The Flash. And then you're like... George not cast comes up. I'm the flash. <laughs> I would have taken that, dude. George Lopez was there for me at 3 a.m. when I woke up after a fever dream, and you know he was jumping off in I'm slow motion. Ezra Miller, they are not Latinos. If you're gonna make the character Latino, why not cast a Latino actor? That just felt like you know, like trying to please people. So, so my question about that, I was so confused when um, I mean it's it's introduced when they they show uh, Ezra's. Sorry, mom, Barry's yeah. mom in the movie, right? That's like when it's revealed to me, if I'm not mistaken, that yeah. he, this in, this iteration of Barry is Latino. Did, was he? What did we know he was Latino in like Justice League, or like is this totally no, new no, for this, this is, movie? Because then it's like, yeah, yeah what is, the heck? Is completely new. I was confused. Completely. Yeah, completely and by the way, just just to make sure, like I I I, I want to uh you know. Be as clear as ever. I was afraid. Maybe you know I'm wrong, and he's not. He is Latino. He's. Uh, I'm reading right Google now. Did. He's. Uh, he's Jewish German. That man is not. That well, that person is not Latino. <laughs> so Christian, I'll I'll add I'll add to this right. So like Listen. you already talked about. Um, I sorry, I, I literally just forgot her name. The woman who played Supergirl did a great Sasha job. Sasha Kaye. Right? You know Michael Keaton came back. I recently just watched Batman eighty nine. Keaton's the best dude. What a badass. I'm so glad that he came back for this movie. But to your point, if you're like I, I why did they just recast? Why did they just recast? <laughs> I don't understand cuz you already have so much like shitty CG going on. You're already like face swapping him with another actor that kind of looks the same. Why not just just ball out, bro, and just totally It's already a multiverse movie. I don't know. I guess before I get too rambly, Christian, I'm getting a little heated. Uh, before I get too, too heated, I guess my hope is that we get to a point where I think the audience is smart enough to understand that it, it's comic book stuff. You know what I mean? None of it, like, ulti- like you can you can switch actors. They're already doing it for Batman. They have, you know, uh, Robert Pattinson going on. They're going to have the DCU Batman going on. I, I think the audience is smart enough to understand that if this was the the Barry from Justice League, or if it wasn't, like it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like who gives a shit? <laughs> so if you're already going out and you're already doing reshoots and you're already CGing the hell out of this movie, why not just recast? I don't know. Is hey, that too crazy? It's like, Here's my thing. Point? You know, like yeah, they're running a yeah. It's expensive to reshoot. You know, and grant, get Grant Gustin and make me happy. It's expensive. <laughs> I get it. But also, like, think about it like this. A lot of people didn't see this movie because of Ezra Miller, and it's Pretty it's a it's, a it's a it's a it's a sad scenario. I, there's people that worked in this movie, and I get it, you know. But like, you lot, you you made a decision to not spend more money on something that's gonna make you lose money. Like that's just it's it's not a good business practice. You know? It's so it's, weird to me. On t- like, in addition, Christian, it's so weird to me that this movie gets the light of day. But then you have like a Batgirl movie. That's I was about to say that. With d- right, Ivan, like all all the word of mouth about that movie is that it's actually kind of kind of banging, right? And yeah, we'll yeah, never see that movie, bro. It's so hey, sad. Hear me out. Hear me out. DC. Not only did you give me uh, not a great Flash movie, but you took away Brendan Fraser's shot at the MCU at uh, the DCU. Right. I will not forgive you for this. You might move on with James Gunn and make your own little silly movies now. This is not over. Dude, he sounds like Taken. He sounds like Liam Neeson and Taken right now. I feel like it's more menacing because he has a black beanie on. Like he feels like the hitman. (laughs) 
<laughs> you guys Daredevil, Daredevil so. cosplay, bro. <laughs> Daredevil season one, dude. Yeah, I, I could do the. <sighs> I beat you. I will not rest until I get a good Flash movie. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. I, I will personally try to contact them, even though it's never gonna happen. Let me Terrifying ask you guys. Means live action. They are good. True. Flash animated movies. Yes. Live action. Let me ask you guys this question. And you got to really use your brains for it, all right? So I'm going to I'm gonna see some smoke coming out of Christian's ear in a sec from all the, the gears turning. Do you guys think that if this movie didn't have Ezra and it literally could have had anybody else that's charismatic and then you, you spend a little bit more money on the CG, a little bit more time, right? Put it in the oven this, a little bit. This is, this is the problem. And I, I, I know where okay. you're going with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify this. The CG... Yes, you have Superman with bad CG and all of that. Yeah. But I, I feel, and this is my theory, that that's a very late addition to the project. They see okay. the problems they have with the lead actor in the movie, and they're like, we got to do something else. That's how I see it. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe that's stupid. But their other problem is that a lot of the bad CG is Barry himself. And I'm saying him because of the character, not the actor. I want to yeah, make that yeah. clear. Barry himself... When when two berries are on screen, one of them looks like a mannequin. Like one of yes, them looks like ooh, almost like... a. It looks like if you put a really good texture pack on Minecraft. Like that's how it looks. <laughs> like it was so, so distorted. If, so Christian, I will you, say, dude, it wasn't as bad as I, in that in that sequence, right? And when there's two berries on the screen at the same time, like. If it happened fast enough, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. You have an eye for it. And I, I feel like a lot of the audience is like me where it like looks off and looks weird, but like we can get past it. I feel like you are more critical about visuals and stuff like that in a film. Nah, so maybe, it. yeah, I don't know. So to me, to me, that wasn't like all the other CG was like so bad that it, you know, was worse than the two berries for me. Here's my here's my um, theory. I think my theory is that like for a lot of like the VFX shot, like the the babies in the microwave scene, that's basically all CGI. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Ezra Miller's not there, and it's because they have to do reshoots. They have to do these shots that they could not get the actor back for. If they had yeah. someone like Grant Gustin or whoever, just fucking mm-hmm. get Danny DeVito in there. I don't care <laughs> if you have if you have an actor who's pressing. You wouldn't need the the PlayStation Two character standing next to the actor, you know. Facts. You could just film it. So because having they two would, people is like a, a dated trick. Like they would, yeah. yeah. Parent Trap's I mean, been doing that shit, dude. That and, was nineteen ninety. And, and we're not, exactly. we're not, we're not talking about Lindsay Lohan Parent Trap. We're talking about the OG Parent Trap. OG oh, they, even or earlier, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like. This is a thing that if they just got a, a different actor, they would have actually saved money on CGI, probably. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. And maybe it's a thing of contracts, and you know, like as familiar was in there for like you know a contract, they could have made an excuse like, oh, multiverse, he was in it for a minute, now he's a different person. If if we're going exactly, to so I guess also, Christian, that that's kind of the point I was. Or I'll I'll let you continue because you said also, so I'll let you. Go. The the and this is like a stupid comment, and nobody's gonna care about this. Uh, the most distracting thing in this movie, not an insult, not a problem to the person I'm going to mention, but seeing uh, Vine's Rudy Mancuso there, you know, the guy who like had like puppets and his whole personality was being Latino, uh, was very distracting to me. They made him the Flash's co-worker, and I could not get yeah. past it. I actually had to turn around and tell my cousin, is that the, is that the Vine guy? Yeah, I was like, why the fuck are you here? I was like, why are you here? It's like if, it's like it's like anytime King Bash shows up in a movie, I'm like the uh, fucking babysitter. I'm like, why did you cast him? Talk to me. <laughs> but so so I guess support. my 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 point of my question, Christian, was more of like so I understand all the criticism. Like we you know we've always obviously shared our own criticism here. But do you? It sounds like the actual story of the movie is like not a bad story. You know what I mean? I like the story. I think like, the story's if good. I, in my in my perfect if world, it was executed where I can, correctly, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, it, I feel like they they had you know their hands tied behind their back because of the Ezra situation. Um, but I feel like the the groundwork, the foundation was here for an enjoy like a good movie. The you know what I mean. The only thing story wise that I would have changed is of okay. course not making him Latino if you're not going to cast a Latino actor. True. Classic. And the other thing is 
the ending with like this like just like you know you're get you're getting cameos everywhere you know yeah. that could have been a really cool like super speed battle with like a dope ass villain and they literally mm. just, just brought the show black show flash, yeah. show me show me to, yeah like brought the 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 black the bad the the bad flash to um to fight himself and then it was just like oh so I will he say the twist, the twist, the twist yeah. where you find out it is that Barry, like trying a million times. I like that twist itself. You know what I mean? It's, it's not bad. I get what you guys mean. The the ending climax, the ending battle is not, you know, Listen, not you where have, it probably could have been. The Flash, if we're being honest, has one of the most visually interesting power sets. Yeah, you know, like super speed, you can do so much with it. I want to say that. And not only that, he can shoot lightning by like getting kinetic energy and all that. And they refused to do that and instead gave us like a, a fight where they're just standing still. A character who's super fast defeats them by standing still. And it's not like this metaphor of like, hey, if you slow down, you get to look at light, you know? No, <laughs> it's, ju- it's, it's just, it's, it's lazy. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take a step back. Just man. take it easy. Yeah. Just chillax. Listen, so I think this I, is I would the argue Christian that they, I, I would podcast. argue that they showed a little bit of the power set, you know, before that when they're teaming up, both the flashes fighting but, off the Zod people or whatever. But yes, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yes, we did see it, and it was great. I did love that that scene, even though I almost threw up on myself because I spit out because I was coughing a lot. <laughs> Yes, we did see a really cool like showcase of speed, but we didn't see two speedsters go head to head, which would have been sure. interesting. Hundred percent, I agree. That's what I thought so, was gonna happen when they homeboy punched him into the wrong time time stamp. Like I was like, all right, yeah. they got a battle. No, nope. that that was really cool. Also, like, and this is I, I understand people have like nostalgia. I'm a very nostalgic person. I will cry if I see anything old. Um. And I don't know if this is gonna sound bad, man. Let Christopher Reeves just rest in peace. Or Both of the old Superman actors. Well, actors. I found out today. I didn't even know this. I mean, this was like everybody probably knows this. I was the last one to know. But the um, the classic like black and white Superman. Yes. Uh, George oh, yeah. he, he George Reeve or yeah. One's George, Christopher I forget Reeve, his life. and then one's Chris George Reeves or something like that. It's they're different. Yeah. They're not related, yeah. which I also found out today, but. Um, but I heard, you know, he, he probably, him and his estate probably had, you know, they didn't want to be in this movie at all. I'm assuming. Right. I, I, I think they, they, they have, they like... have to, they have to approve it. Uh, you can, okay. uh, I don't think you can use someone's likeness like that. Having said like that, um, to, like the people that were really close to him though, they probably went to, no, the, they, they went to the, they go to the estate. They, they, they go through the, you know, the, the correct, you know, people but having I, said that, like, let him rest, dude. Yeah, so I, I guess I guess my my whole thing with like the, those cameos and stuff, it's like, okay, it might be it's cool to see Nicolas Cage or whatever, but like, I mean, it's it's I already don't care about it. Yeah, but yeah, like exactly. here's the thing, like, it's over. Like I, it was I know, when, when I, I was looking at it, I stopped caring. I was like, oh, we can okay. we can say whatever we want about the CW, but getting Brandon Routh and Tom Welling in the show and doing it right. amazing because they're characters, right. they're they're people that are still alive. And mm. and like whatever it's you want to say about you can say whatever you want about exactly. Brandon Routh's Superman, but like there's people that love it, and that's what cameos are. Cameos are like, oh, here you go for you. You love this thing. Let me show it to you. Exactly. You you cameos like most of the time. Like most of the time are just to you know appease people. It's okay. Here you go. We're pleasing. We're giving you this small moment. And th- these ones were, dude. There were so many deep cuts, like. After seeing the movie, Christian, your your uh, your cousin who was with us as well, she was like, "Oh, Nicholas Cage! Like Nicholas Cage, he had like long hair. He looked kind of weird. As Superman? That's kind of weird. We know that because we're super nerds. But the general public's not even, and it's not even like a cool thing that I see. And I'm like, you know, flipping out. It's or, not like or, an MCU. Or get Nicholas, or, or get Nicholas Cage to actually do it. Yeah, be in it, bro. Like, he, you know the I mean? man's like, alive. De- yeah, just de-age the man. Like, fuck it. No, I mean, don't de-age him. Oh, he yeah, make kept, him old Superman. Yeah, he, he that'd kept be badass, being Superman. Dude. Like Kingdom Come Superman or something like that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they could have done that. But I don't know. It's, it's just I like guess. a. It's it's just That's not very problem. tasteful the way they did it, and it was like so fast. Okay, and imagine because we're so deep, you couldn't even unless you're like a super imagine, fan. Imagine you know CW brought in Kingdom okay, Come. Okay, no. 
hear me, yeah. hear me out. Imagine if Marvel kept putting Stan Lee in their movies. How would you feel? Like well, after he really. passed? After he, after he passed. passed? Oh no! I thought you meant like if he's still alive. But no, I'm hoping that they stop doing this D like the all the stuff that they're doing. But it sounds like they want to keep doing more. You know, what we're talking about the strike and stuff. Side note: Question: What was the last movie that he was like in? Stan was it Lee. Uh, no, I. Th- I want to say. Or was it Captain Damn. Marvel? I feel Captain like it was Marvel. on the show. I, 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 feel, I feel like, like was it before the, end, no, the Disney Plus like show it, started? I feel like it was Captain Marvel. That's how I see it. But I could be yeah, wrong. Or Marvel Endgame. Or... Because he is in Endgame. Okay, but they didn't... End... Oh, no, Captain Marvel came out before, before Endgame. Yeah. Let me see. Uh... Uh, p- mul- Endgame, yeah. Endgame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's the... That's the last one. Uh, okay. If we brought if we started putting Stan Lee back in the movies, nobody would like it. Because it's yeah, just it, so like stop. Here's the thing: you see, you we look at Stan Lee and like you know like he's you know he's great. I get it. You know, created a bunch of characters along with Steve, Steve Ditko. Put that out there. Created a bunch of characters we love and we respect him a lot. But like Christopher Reeves, uh, uh, Christopher Reeves is also an actor that like deserves all that respect. So why do we give Stanley this treatment of like, hey, you know, let's not use him, you know, this respect is passing, and not Christopher Reeve? I feel like it's like it, kind of like a, a status thing, like, oh, he was a creator. Yeah, we're we're picking like, a cho- we're picking and choosing yeah. who to respect. Exactly. Yeah, when it should just be respect the past. You know what I mean? Let's... Boys, let me tell you, we're getting deep with this one. <laughs> we're getting deep. Everybody knows if they're listening uh, this far. We got a couple drinks in us, dude. This is you movie boys. Mean. How we go? It's no, this is it. a cu- this is you. I'm a, I'm like as sober as I can be. Uh, uh, something could have fooled me, Christian. <laughs> we'll I'm say. only one in. I'm only one in. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, yeah. Um, we're celebrating though. So let let's that that's our thoughts on the Flash. What do we want to rate it? Uh, yeah, like a, final final thoughts on the Flash. Everybody go around. I'll give it a if you want to put something on a watch while you're doing something else. Go ahead. Um, my final thoughts. Uh, I will tell you exactly how much I ranked it because I care about this. Uh, I ranked it three stars out of five. It's a six out of ten. Not the worst movie ever. It's a movie. <laughs> so like, oh, and and something else. If you want to have a flash in the new DC universe. And you want to de- do Wally West as much as like I don't disagree, but like Barry's my favorite Flash. Uh, if you want to bring G- Grant Gustin in, yes, he's getting older, but that's what he could be. He could be an older Flash to guide Wally. That's all I'll say. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, I mean, I, it depends on which Wally they're trying to do. <laughs> uh, right, redhead Barry, uh, Wally. Okay. That's the most popular one, if I'm not mistaken. Although I do like both Wallys as much as I've read them. Nice. <laughs> I gotta get Sorry, that thumbs friend. up so people don't think I'm the worst human being ever. Nah, you're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. I feel like Andrew Garfield in No Way Home. He's like, oh, I fought a guy in a rhino suit. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, no, that's dope. Right. They're like, no, y'all fought aliens. <laughs> all right, I just wrote some quick, quick things down. So my final thoughts, right? Um, I think that your rating is very fair, Christian. I think it's probably where I would rate it too, six out of ten. And then Ivan, you were saying, put it on if you got nothing, you know, if you're just, you're bagging and board in comics, just put the yeah, flash on. it's a on. movie. It's a movie. I don't even know, to be honest with you, that might be even a little far from me. In my opinion, right, having seen this movie one time, I don't think I ever need to see this movie again, bro. Is that, <laughs> is that harsh? Is that harsh? It's and realistic. I say no, that. it's not harsh. I say your opinion. I say don't that re- as someone, dude, I've shut the door on the DCU, bro. I haven't even seen the new, the new Shazam. I haven't even seen, I've not seen what it. came out before that in the yeah. DCU. I don't even know. You know what I will Black say? Black Adam? I haven't seen it. Go so, go re go rewatch the Flash TV show. You know where you can watch it? I'm kidding. I'm not going to support any companies that are struck right now. Go nice. buy the DVDs. Yeah, go fuck. buy the DVDs. You <laughs> go to Walmart, Target, um, get that Flash DVD, baby. Probably get a PS5. <laughs> so, or Xbox, know. we don't discriminate. I That's it, bro. Let's stop talking <laughs> about the Flash, bro. I'm over it. <laughs> Can, it was okay, take... but I'm over it. Too much baggage in that movie, dude. All right, next topic. We're going to talk about Secret Invasion. Um, I'm going to start. I know Ivan hasn't seen it yet. I Yo, mean, I think I'm cool. I'm kind of bored of this show, to be honest with you, Christian. I, Just start I don't it. know what it is, dude. 
I know. It's like, I don't know how many episodes in, but episode one and two, it's taken me like six sittings to like sit down and just watch this show. Like, I don't know yeah, what it is. Listen. I don't know if I'm going through like an MCU burnout or something, but I just I mean, cannot get be. myself to finish this it damn show. I, I mean, I think the easiest way, and no disrespect, but the easiest way to explain it is I don't think you have the mental capacity. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's it's a <laughs> slow burn. You're a fucking it, idiot, Cody. Yeah. You're, you're, a, you're a little dumbass. You know what sucks, <laughs> though, Christian? Uh, uh, <laughs> to your point, like, I, I understand it's a slow burn. And, you know, it's funny. Winter Soldier is like one of my favorite MCs. Oh, 100%. If it's no, no. going for that tone, you'd think I would love this. I, I, don't know, I, I guess say, I don't know what's keeping me in it. Like, I like Samuel L. Jackson, but is that it? That's I'll, only, I'll, say, like, I'll, I'll say this. And, and mind you, you can stop watching it right now. I totally understand if you would. I'm enjoying it, and I'm going to keep enjoying it. That's just, I'm not going to sit here and defend it. I think it's a good spy thriller. Uh, I think episode three was really good. I, yeah, okay. so that's the one I really haven't good. gotten to yet. Maybe that'll like. Um, yeah, but I will say, I understand yeah. people like. I feel like it's not a show that's been talked about enough, and I understand why. Uh, not only with the climate right now with uh, the film industry, but just in general, it's a show that like you know hasn't made much of a buzz. I I'm excited. Not like a lot has happened. Don't get me wrong. Talking about the scrolls and everything, but I'm excited to see where it ends. Because if mm. a lot of things are revealed right now, I'm excited to see where it takes the MCU, like what direction it's taken the entire universe into. The one thing yeah. I give credit for is like we're getting a little bit of a break from the whole multiversal thing. A hundred percent. And I, and I, yeah, you know I, mean? I, I will say the multiversal burnout is real. Um, mm-hmm. I and I do want to give a shout out to someone who's never going to watch this show, but uh, Eddie Burback uh, made a great video about multiversal or burnout and. Uh, I don't know if we'll need to link it. I think a million people have watched it, but I'll try to link it in the bio. Um, it's a real thing, you know. A lot of people are using the multiverse right now. A lot of different, you know, franchises and, and just studios in general, and it can cause a lot of a burnout. I, however, think it's a good opportunity to bring cool things into fruition, mm-hmm. and I'm yeah. excited to see if handled well. I think it could work, but I, I agree with Ivan. We need little breaks in between. Uh, of course, like, I need a little breaks, but I also like you know you gotta give shout outs to like I mean shameless kind of little plug, but shout outs to movies like Across the Spider Verse and stuff like 100%. that do use like multiversal, but don't make it like the main focus of the plot. Like it's literally yeah, just yeah, it's. Uh, I will say like uh, Across the Spider Verse is all about the multiverse. Having mm-hmm. said that, it's a very human story. Yeah, it doesn't the feel cameo like a... the cameos are not like just like that's like I mean yeah it's cool and people can. Them. You know, Screen Mm. Crush and and them and Love Them can make a million videos about, like, every single cameo. But, like, at the heart of the the story is the... Our characters. The the way I see it, it's like people were expecting across the Spider-Verse, like, oh, my God, the story's coming back. We're going to see what happens. A lot of people were expecting the Flash thinking, who's going to be in it? And I think that's the big difference. Uh, Yes, and, and, hey, listen... A lot of people are going to be in Deadpool, and I understand. I'm excited for some of the cameos myself. I'm not going to lie to you. No, yeah. It's but not, I think not a problem, but I feel like if you're doing a multiversal story, make sure you have a good story to back it up. Exactly. It has to be emotional, and not. And I don't mean emotional as in like make me cry. I mean emotional and have like an actual character that has a lot of depth. I feel yeah, like with me the, into Flash, the story. Don't make me hmm. think. Yeah. Oh. It's the multiverse movie. Like, make me want to care. Don't make me think about. Yeah, make the multiverse a cool aspect of it, but not the whole bread and butter. I think it, it's a good point that you guys bring up. I, I didn't even think of um, Secret Invasion as it, it's probably strategically that way. Hey, let's let's break up. We're doing all this crazy stuff. You know what I mean? Let's let's break it up. Give everybody a little breather. And that's kind of the point of these Disney Plus shows, if you think about it. I guess my whole thing is with Secret Invasion. Like, you would think that that's, like, a bigger event. Like, you would think that there'd be more... I will say... Uh, like, I, players involved and, like, more twists and turns. Like, I don't I, know. I know, I know we get... I, I know we, 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 we've we've yeah. probably been spoiled by Twitter. I don't know about you, Cody. I know Ivan has. I've got... Uh, I got that... Uh, I got the I twist that. that I'm, like, really I upset about. Spoiled. I got that spoiled for me. I, but, but think about that. That... As a reveal in episode three, like what halfway through the show, you might be thinking like, "Man, they're doing like that early." Think about that as a possibility of what they can do in episodes four, five, six. Like, what implications does this character being a scroll have? 
how long has he been a scroll like, okay, how has gotta... you know it's like yeah. hope to like it's not just like a oh he's an alien <laughs> it, yeah it, it's oh, shit, like i think that. i'm a little you know what it might be I'm, i might be a little burned because i got that spoiled for me now 100 like, no you know i feel you I mean? but yeah. um I don't know. I'm Definitely just angry gotta... that they stole the the berry design for merch to make the scroll. Like that ass. Like, at least make name one of them Barry. Give us credit. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I will. I will say, um, uh, Barry. For anyone, who, no one who's thinking about that, I copied the scrolls. Um, I had not yet started reading comics when I created Barry, so it's really interesting that they look so similar. Right. Oh, that's we'll a good. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I guess so. But... Barry's a catalyst to your. Comic Barry book was days. Barry was made and uh, because of an after surgery, you know, like medication manic like, episode dream. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and it's funny somewhere somewhere in my room, the original Barry is sitting around. Oh, Barry! Right. For people that don't know, mascot of Color Break. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do, do you have anything else to say about Secret Invasion? I guess my whole thing is I'm a little lukewarm on the series as of right now. I'll try to power through. If I can get through episode three, it sounds like I'll have a better time uh, than going uh, forward. But I, 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 I like, and maybe this is like the thing you don't like. I like how slow it is, and not because it's like in. It's just like you have this. The the reason why I like Marvel's the comic book, right? You have this universe filled with, like, the coolest fucking superpowers ever. You know, like, the biggest, like, wildest abilities that people can have. But you have this human character living in it. And that's how I see yeah. Nick Fury. That's what I, got I like you. about it. It's so, like, like a nice, I guess like, I don't mind that, that it's slow. I get That's, like, a nitpick. I, I Like, it is slow, and I also don't like the show, but I don't think it's because of the fact that it is slow. It's slow, and it also has characters that I like. I, I'm not so hot about the guy, the the scroll that's helping Nick Fury. I don't even know his name. Dude. Uh, Talos. Talos. Yeah. Talos. Okay. Yeah. I'm. Ah, I like his accent. I mean, it's Talos is like the like he's cool, but it's not like I'm not like jumping world. out of my chair. You know what I mean? I'm not. No, like, I feel you. Yo, I think... Talos. You know what I mean? I'm not a Talos head. <laughs> I think it's gonna get more interesting as as time progresses, and I think I'm making a super get, if you give it a chance, I think it, it will. It might get somewhere cool. But um, dude, listen, I'll tell you this right now: a show that everybody is gonna like. I'll sing this show's praises till the day I die, except for when we're striking the company because fuck you, Warner Bros. Dude, my adventures with Superman. If you guys aren't watching this show, you got to get on it immediately. It looks, it looks very Ivan, it's good. about to be I your favorite show of all time. Okay. Right now. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm going to go watch my adventures with Superman. Goodbye. Yeah, honestly, if you guys left the pod to go watch it, I wouldn't. <laughs> so, like, okay. this. Sh- so, Christian, you haven't seen it? I haven't seen it, but I will say without having seen it, uh, how how can I say this? Uh, I'm really happy they made Superman like a cutesy Sailor Moon, like you know, yeah, transformation kind of guy. To Cody about that earlier, I'm yeah. with it, I'm dude. The t- it, yeah. Okay, it I is like, like anime they're making it. You know what I mean? Yes, <laughs> dude, Ivan. It, like you, you, it, it <laughs> makes sense and it also doesn't, and then you're just amazed that it it, it works so perfectly. Like, they're blending all the... it with Clark, so it looks like it looks like they're blending it with Clark so well. But it's like it's so funny also to be on Twitter and like having not watched it yet and see all the people that are mad about it. It's like just don't watch it then. <laughs> oh, dude, people are so mad that they. So to your point, Christian, uh, they. It seems like the Lois in this show. I don't know if this is confirmed or whatever, but I think she's like Korean or like she's Asian of some sort. What? I and am people leaving. Are pissed. And then also <laughs> the uh, the oh. Jimmy Jimmy Olsen, you know Clark Kent's best friend or whatever. He's black, black in this show. So people are pissed, <laughs> not, dude. That's like the double. Not, like, people are going not nuts my about Jimmy. This. I'm kidding. I never owned that. That's and not I'm my like, character. I have never dude. cared about Jimmy Olsen. I am sorry. You that are sick, claiming to give a fuck are so funny. It's like if they're like, oh, yes, we. Perry White is now black. We have never cared about Perry White. Who read Jimmy Olsen's boss? No, Perry White, Jimmy Olsen's boss, Superman's friend. Like, who read that? I mean, don't no disrespect to the writer. I'm sure it was great, but who cares? You know, like 
it's well, just like about Jimmy. Like, dude, <laughs> no, Christian, it goes even further than that, bro. If your Did show is already, else? if your show is already Superman, and they have like anim- animated it. You know what I mean? It's already a different show, and it's already going to take so many different left turns. From I, the I, 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 used to. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people like being angry about, uh, you know, redhead characters being turned black, and I think it's really funny that like uh, they look, they saw Jimmy Olsen. Let's do it again, because like, do you really care? Like, it's your hair color, your personality. If so, that's sad. Because I've had pink hair before. Put, I'll put a picture up. Put a picture of their immediately looking stupid. There better be a I, fucking picture. I'll put it up there, bud. Sometimes, uh, I mean, I'm with you, dude. Sometimes he says put a picture up and he doesn't. You know, you what know what I'll send it to you guys right now. I don't care. I'll send it to you guys right now. I had pink hair and it was stupid and it was not my personality. I thought it looked kind of nice. I'm just going to say hey, that. Hey, I'll say this. Nice. If, if your hair is your personality, you know, like I know people with curly hair and curly hair is beautiful. Um, that's cool, but like, if you're gonna be pissed that they changed someone's hair, I, I'm not gonna fight you on it. I get it. Be offended by the things you want to be offended, dude. Honestly, just don't bro, take it to Twitter. I'm, I'm glad if these guys stop watching the show, I'll be glad because more for me, bro. More, more freaking, more resolution, bro. On my, on my... Shit, listen, yeah. we, we, we got, we got uh, Black Jimmy Olsen, Latino Barry Allen. That's what we're all about in this show. <laughs> Yeah. No, I I think they they do it, and like each each person's characterization is just so it's just so smart the way they took it. Like this, I don't know. Lois is a badass. She's just kicking everybody's ass. Jimmy's hilarious, bro, <laughs> and he's like so lovable, and he you can just tell he's like he's like the guy. You know what I mean? I think I don't know. This, this show is just it like blew my mind when I watched. It. I couldn't stop watching it. Definitely Listen. check it out. My Adventures of Superman. It's on HBO. But also cancel your that. subscription because we're striking them. <laughs> I like how like you're being honest, but it sounds like a joke. <laughs> no, it, it, if if they say if they say to cancel our subs and stuff, I I think I might I might cancel my sub. I mean, I feel you. I'm using a I'm using Alexa's turns. HBO, so I'm not, I don't really have to pay for anything. Uh, maybe I'll pirate it. I don't know. Does that hurt the creators? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, uh, I mean, pirating is just illegal. That's what it is. It out there. Um, I, w- I do want to say... We're not um, pirating, disclaimer. Mm. Just, I mean, like, stop caring about... Like, I know I care about, like, Barry B and Latino, and maybe it sounds like double standards. I'll I'll be angry if, like, Jimmy Olsen's uh, black and they hired a white actor. That will make me angry. <laughs> right, but, right. like, But, like, as long as, like, you know, like, if we're doing things right, we're doing things right. I don't care. I'm not going to be angry here. Yeah, I mean, if it's a good mm. show, it's a good show. Yeah, yeah dude. if they race swap me, like I'd be okay with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> next episode it's gonna be color break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's gonna be a totally different person who is also named Christian, but we're just gonna just gonna roll yeah. with it and not acknowledge it. It's like a uh, Asian gym. It's like oh, I've been here this whole time. I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I've been your co-host um, the whole time. <laughs> uh, I think. <laughs> I mean, that that's all the movie shows, boys. You know, that's all we we're gonna talk about. Mm. Uh, I do want to talk about some, uh, and not to exclude Ivan. Ivan, we want you to be a part of this conversation. Ivan, you're one of my best friends. Um, uh, I want to talk about some projects we're working on here too, at Color Christian. Break. Cody, first of all, what what the fuck is that behind you? Oh, dude, all these paintings, bro. So I I uh, I've been hard. trying to be an adult, bro. Honestly, it honestly is like me. I'm, I'm trying to adult. drink more water, bro. Eat your multivites. Put your put your framed like put your art on your wall, but don't just do it with tape. I'm trying to be an adult. You know what I mean? So this past weekend, dude, bought all the frames, framed all my art, spent like six hours hanging this shit up because i'm six like hours. terrible oh dude i wanted to get it straight and then it's all crooked like i really wanted to nail it and it looks all right but i'm, I'm Listen, happy with it. i think it looks i'm good. happy with it. yeah thank you guys appreciate it Listen, so i'm, I'm working will... on a vlog so that should be released it's probably out by the yeah, time it's already out go out. watch it yeah it'll so be linked after uh, somewhere we'll watch the um, i do want to say um cody i want to apologize to you what? Your your what day is it today? Uh, your, tomorrow. My birthday was two months ago. If that's what you. To, tomorrow it'll be two months since your birthday passed, and here in my room I have your birthday gift. 
There's nothing stopping me from taking it to the post office. You're bet, dude. Okay, Ivan, you don't know this, bro, but I left my glasses in D.C. Right at Christian's aunt's house, and I was like, ah, oh, dang, I left my glasses. Christian, can you grab them for me, bro, and just send them back? You know, whenever you get back to to Florida, just send them to me. It took this fucker like two weeks <laughs> to send my glasses, bro. Listen. I'm blind as a bat, man. I got my spares on that are like four years old. <laughs> To his credit, he eventually did it. I don't think it was actually two weeks. It wasn't that bad, but I was like, "Yeah, I'm just waiting." I told for him you no to rush, me, but like, I'm waiting for you to send me the case back. <laughs> oh, dude, that that case, I'm fell, dude. I was gonna say, I threw that case away, bro. That case was like falling apart in my hand. I was like, "This shit's I, I, gross." I will dude. say, uh, they, I don't know if it, like I have been told, like, oh, maybe you have executive dysfunction, which like I don't know what it is. I just like I struggle know. sometimes to do things on time. I have to grow up as an adult. So, Cody. As soon as I can, and it will not be for the next two weeks because I know myself, I will send you your birthday gift. Dude, no <laughs> worry. You know what? I have a space for it right over there. I mean, you already know what it is. I showed you what it is, right? I already forgot, dude. So as soon as I open it, it'll be like it'll be like a whole new surprise, my man. Get the surprise factor back, Chris. Let's go. <laughs> Cody, um, your Cody, your girlfriend like I will say that. Yeah. She, I remember I, I cool. will say I will say this. I messaged her and I was like, Hey, I know this is also your house. I'm buying this for Cody. Do you think it's cool? And she was like, "Yeah, I mean, it, it's my house, but like, she, you can get it whenever you want." Oh yeah, I mean, she she pro- I don't know if she gives a shit about any of this nerd shit. You know what I mean? Oh, I wanted to say it too. I think this is cool, dude. This is a Tyler the Creator like exclusive record, like a limited Ooh. edition. I think it's like four hundred cool. bucks on eBay, bro. Damn. Oh yeah, make know. me feel bad yeah. about my financial. I have this guitar. It's, like it's one of a kind there. because I mean it's. It's one of a kind. You want to know why it's one of a kind? Okay. Because I've touched it. You will never find the same model that I've touched anywhere else. Well, I got this at like normal price, but I guess for some reason it's like actually more rare. So I don't know. Maybe anything, that, anything can be one of a kind. Oh, you like the Rainforest Cafe? Well, you'll never be able to get this cup that I just bit into. Christian, dude, we're waffling, bro. We're literally talking about nothing. Tell everybody about your video that you got working on, uh, so we can get the hell out of here, uh, man. I, me, and Cody, for some reason, and Ivan watch like the same YouTubers. Mm. And for years, I've been thinking. I'm. I, I don't think. Hey, I can do this. But uh, and Cody, Cody might agree with me on yes, this, and uh, Cody might agree with me with it. this. Yeah, I don't think can. I'm funny. Cody goes through the same thing. I don't think I'm funny, and uh, maybe I'm not. But uh, me and Cody experienced this thing where people were telling us like, "You guys are like." <laughs> <laughs> now you guys crack me up, dog. You guys um, fucking kill me. The way the way I pro- the the way I process thing is just observations. If I want to say something, I'll say it. Um, you know, in a moral sense, you know, like of course. Um, so I thought, you know, like people have been telling me to do more comedy things. I might as well just try to make a video reviewing a movie. You know, I'm a film student and you know what that means, right? It means jack yeah. shit. It means jack <laughs> shit. I don't have a better opinion than it anyone means else. Poor. <laughs> but I watched the movie. Oh, thank you. Wow, I wa- <laughs> you know, it's a good joke. It's a great joke. even. <laughs> joke. I mean, come on. It's I'm poor. No, I loved it. Uh, I just had a thought in my mind. That's why I didn't laugh. Yeah, um, yeah. Watched Howard the Duck, the 1986 mm. movie. And I won't say what I think over here. It's just a very horny movie, though. Uh, that's the <laughs> only thing I'll say. Um, and I made like a like a full review. It's probably going to be like 20 minutes. I don't know when I'll re- release it because I'm probably going to refilm it because I'm not happy with it, which is okay. I didn't like my outfit and I didn't like the way I talked. Um, I like that. I like, I but no, dude, I think, funny, and I'm sure, I'm sure Ivan it's agrees. Like that, I, I guess maybe we didn't even say like a channel that you're kind of inspired by. Um, but no, I don't have a specific inspiration. I'll yeah, like I think, I think that format works really well for your type of humor. I think it'll be a, a good watch. I'm looking forward to checking out your review of Howard the Duck, my man. And I hope more videos like that to come. Yeah, so I, I do want to say like I, I don't wa- I don't want to put myself in the case of like I'm always gonna be reviewing weird movies, but like I might yeah, review anything. Right. I think the yeah. problem is that like we and not to say that it's a problem, but we kind of made color break this thing of like comics. And while it is our main focus, we like different things. Cody collects coins, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on April Fool's Day, I do. I collect so many coins on April Fool's, man. So I collect. Um, <laughs> so we we have different things we like. Like I first, I like music. 
I like I YouTube. Too. I like movies. Same. I like tech. I'm not saying I'm going to be making take tech videos because I cannot afford half of the tech that's out there. I like old video games, you know, specifically ones made for movies. Um, <laughs> so you can expect us to be making content that maybe isn't about comics. But if you're interested in watching it, you can go to the Color Break YouTube. Color Break, your third yeah, favorite dude. YouTube channel. Definitely check it out. Um, all right. I mean, that, that's it for us. But listen, I want to give Ivan the platform, dude. You got anything, any projects you're working on, any any videos in the in the can, in the kicker or whatever? I don't know. I feel like such a fraud, dude, because I haven't done anything at all. But Bro, you're not a I fraud, mean, I, man. I, it, life gets <laughs> in the way, man. You got a girlfriend. That's like probably way more important. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, She's a great lover. Thank you. Uh, you know, yeah, it doesn't take time. But I mean, I should I should be able to find. It. I mean, I found time for this, right? But I mean, of course, I told Christian uh, I work this shit. Uh, mm-hmm. I am gonna be starting streaming it. Like, I don't know when. I do nice, want to see if my. I want to know if my internet's good enough to be able to do it. Cause yeah, I, that's I, always I the thing. To, yeah, where there's a online. will, there's a way. Well, where there's a connection, there's a price. So. <laughs> So, so you know, I'm gonna see if I can do that. Uh, I do want to get back into making TikToks again. It's just like <laughs> every time I pick up comics, it's like three weeks went by where I haven't picked yeah. up shit. There's like this massive amount of comics. I'm not about to go and do this whole thing. So I just end up reading. I'm just like a rock and like. Hopefully, I can get kind of back into the swing of things soon. But for now, uh, you can check me out on TikTok, a Euro's Gift. Uh, potentially a youtube channel potentially you know i mean not potentially but the streaming will come i don't know if i'm gonna do it on twitch or youtube depending uh that's yeah man it. You know follow, I mean? maybe i'll follow. be more so uh you know see me on the guest appearances whenever they feel like having me on here that's yeah dude. Follow, really. go go fo- <laughs> go follow him on facebook his and no, i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> i don't even remember so, my facebook login that's crazy <laughs> work <laughs> dude so one thing i will say about so ivan obviously you're busy dude we all get it um definitely take your time but i'll be here man i'll be here whenever you post anything bro i'll be there because i miss seeing your your content man uh, no i uh, i mean let, let's yeah, hey here you, get we're it. gonna give you your your andrew garfield moment you're amazing you have a great personality and it shines through on your videos um you know and, and you just gotta get back into it it's okay i I've, i haven't posted in like two weeks i get it yeah, yeah he really taking that. Taking um, that sweat, dude. I, I haven't posted in like two weeks. We all go through it. It's been like um, three months, bro. <laughs> hey, Ivan, shut up and listen to my compliments. You will get back on the horse and you will ride off into the sunset. One thing so, I will say, dude, if we're not doing movie boys, you bet your ass we're going to be doing like Omni boys or some shit, all right? We're going to start that up soon. Don't you guys okay. worry. I let's not let, going anywhere. let's make let, let's channel. make let's make a commitment right now to make an Omni Boys about Superman. All right, we we, we so about Superman that. or about something cool, <laughs> like something really good. You know what I'm saying? No Damn. offense. Dude. <laughs> Listen, if I, every soon, Superman fan is about to get you, Cody. Save it's it up not. Now. <laughs> I'll tell I'm you this. Just, oh man, I, next <laughs> next month, uh, like not next month. Shit. Yeah, next month and like a month from now, I'm I'm buying like an Omni or two. So, if you all want to buy a Spider Man twenty ninety nine, no I'm kidding, dude. We'll uh, figure uh, it out. I Honestly, do, I, I think it could be Spider-Man more. Uh, I think it could be more of like a of, of what we read kind of thing, or like a we each choose an Omni and talk about it or something like that. But no, that's fair. We'll that's figure fair. it out. We'll yeah, figure whatever it out. Whatever y'all want, want the one y'all, and I'll be yeah, here. I, I yeah, want to put it out so there. Fun. Um, yes. thank Amazing. you, Ivan, for being here. It's been mm. great. Uh, Cody, I missed filming the podcast with you. I hope you know. I know, dude. Um, it's been a minute. It was great being with you in DC, and uh, you know, I'll cherish you forever. I, I gotta, Not to get I gotta, emotional. I got a link with y'all, man. Not to get emotional. Yeah. Love being with you. Um, Listen, you know, Ivan. If we friends. end up going to New York Comic Con, my man, Ivan's there too, bro. <laughs> this man interrupted uh, like the nicest <laughs> part of my speech. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm okay, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna like, say it again, Cody. You are one of my best <laughs> friends, and I love you, um, dude. Thank you so much, Christian. Thank I want to so thank. The, I want to thank the fans for always supporting us. My mom mm. and dad, specifically, because I stole my dad's headphones because we're packing and he doesn't know. But thank you for helping us make this episode, Dad. <laughs> and uh, that's been episode twenty-five. Too far, baby. Uh, buy the merch. <laughs> buy the merch if you want. Follow support us. Uh, follow businesses. us on the uh, support your local. Donate to the WGA uh, SAG mm. After Fund. 
Um, follow us on the Color Break YouTube channel. Go give Ivan a follow. <laughs> uh, be a very morally good person. And as always, thanks for watching. And have a great day. Bye.